it's me stormy and i got hyped up after a call today so here we go okay how to move forward right how to move forward so you've had this job that has been your job has been your life has been your experience maybe it is even your dream job like the thing you really wanted to do in life and then you were fired from it, you were laid off, you let go, you feel like it's time to quit, whatever it is, the universe is trying to take something from you. Now the universe does not leave holes. So whatever it's trying to take from you, it's trying to refill it. But right here in this moment, what it may feel like to you is that paralyzing fear of, oh my God, I'll never have this again. This will never be this way again. And I just want to tell you, you are damn right. And it does not need to be that way again. Let go of what is being taken from you. Take your nail claw prints out of what's trying to be removed from your life and what you do there at that moment is you just don't go, oh yeah, this is my dream job and now this stage of my life is over and I'm just okay with that. You get to grieve. You get to go, wow, but in that state of grieving, I would highly suggest to you that what you do to find the power is look back at that dream job you just had. What did you learn there? Because if you did that, especially for any sustained amount of time, you got wisdom. You know how to do things differently. You developed a piece of yourself that you probably know and understand better, right? You understand how to do some things that made you wise and more abundant to the world going forward. Because the idea of holding on to something in the past or trying to make things like it was absolutely denies the reality of your reality. And the reality is that things have changed. You have changed. So the real, real question of right there, it's not the way it used to be, but what does it get to be? Oh my goodness, people, let me tell you, the only people who care about time and age are people. The universe doesn't give a crap. If you are 76 and you've been at that job for 40 years and now it's gone, the question is, what does the next half of your life look like? Many of you have felt the push you are in the next stage and the next act of your life. What do you want to do? Who cares that you're afraid that a company is not going to hire you because you're a 76 year old woman? I don't care. They're starting businesses every single day. Find your tribe so that you know how to get out there and go do that. You are not a victim of losing what was in the past and not meant for you anymore. You are absolutely a receiver and a sacred gift to what is coming to you in the future and what is here for you in the present. Learn the life that you want, the uh, next act of your life and all the glory that it gets to be, the fun, the crazy, the new development of you as a person is right in front of you. You've got to find your tribe though so that you can see how to restart. So you can learn to restart without coming completely unglued or how to restart, come completely unglued and then see how you piece that puzzle back together with the support of people who are like you. What do you think would happen? True story. What do you think would happen if a group of women over 50 who had various job experiences or men or whatever, you know what I'm talking about, the fearful things we talk about is who I'm addressing. But let's say a group of those people attract each other and find each other because they're a new tribe and they decide that they're going to start a business. What in the heck do you think is going to happen? First of all, we've got a whole bunch of wise people getting ready to change the world, right? We've got a whole bunch of students right there who are about to learn how to do business, especially in the internet time, they're about to become a little bit more abundant. And what they're also going to do is feel supported, right? So whatever the circumstance is in your life today, what I'm saying is if you are holding on to the past and you're trying to make your current reality be what your life used to look like, that's not going to happen because time has taken time and time has happened. So the reality is, is that the timing of your life today is different than it used to be. And you've got to put down holding on to that stuff in the past because if you're holding on to the past you are denying yourself the gift of your purpose and your destiny and your sacred mission moving forward find your tribe guys find your tribe i don't want to be crazy but find your tribe all right guys i love you bye